Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Grey Organics. In this video, we will see what is meant by mop up round and what are the instructions that to be followed for mop up round. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give ICR counseling related videos and agriculture education videos in English since 2021. You can share our channel with your friends also. In ICR counseling brochure for both PG and PhD, the instructions for mop up round has been given. We will see that one by one. First we will see what does mean by mop up round. So mop up round means after the counseling for four rounds the seeds will be vacant in some of the universities. So for the vacant seeds in that particular university again a counseling will be conducted. It is known as mop up round counseling. ICER will release the vacant seed list in each university with different categories. So while applying for mop up round we have to fill the colleges in which the seat is vacant. We have to do choice filling only to that particular universities not to all the universities. So here we will see the instructions for this mop up round. No upgradation will be permitted in the mop up round or final round of the counseling. This one already we have told in previous video. The upgradation will not be permitted. If you are alerted to a particular university in this mop up round it is final. So it will not be further upgraded. If you don't want that seat you can leave that seat. The option for withdrawal or cancellation of seat through applicant login will not be available to the candidates in this round. So you cannot withdraw the seat or you cannot cancel the seat and the seat acceptance fee will not be refunded to the candidate under any circumstances by the ICR or university. For example, if you are paying this 10,000 rupee seat acceptance fees and uh, if you want to withdraw that seat or cancel that seat, ICER or that particular university will not refund that 10,000 rupees. Here the candidates and applicants are advised to be careful on this account. So if you once you pay this uh, amount, it will not be refunded to you. So before paying the seat acceptance fees, you have to be very careful whether you want that seat or not. Because in for most of the students, a mop up round seat will be alerted to a particular university in which you may not like. So you have to be very careful in this concern. And uh, another one important thing is, you should not waste that seat. For example, if you are from Tamil Nadu and you got a seat in some universities such as Uttarakhand or Assam like that and if you are not interested to go to that uh, university but already you have paid this seat acceptance fees. So now that seat goes waste so that uh, particular seat will not be filled. Again, this may be filled again by that university but it will take some time. That seat will be converted into that particular university seat not ICR seat. Now you have wasted the seat of ICR candidate so you have to be very careful in that. Next is the candidates those who scored negative or zero marks in this entrance examination are not allowed to participate in the mop up round or final round of the counselling. Next is the candidates who already admitted or withdrawal or denied admission on the ground that they did not meet the prescribed eligibility requirements in the previous rounds are not allowed to participate in the mop up round or final round of the counselling. So I am clearly explaining this. For example you have uploaded some document that particular university have rejected your application that you have not met this eligibility criteria or the eligibility criteria of that university. For that only we have uploaded the video of UHS Bagal Court. Though UHS Bagal Court need a BSc Horticulture student as per their university criteria but other universities also take a BSc Agriculture student but as UHS Bagal Court have already rejected that uh, candidate's admission, so uh, that candidate is also unable to participate in that next round counselling or even in the mop up round counselling. If once the application or admission has been rejected by any particular university, you cannot be able to participate in that mop up round also. Any leftover candidates who could not register for the first round of counselling are allowed to participate in the mop up round or final round of the counselling by paying this uh, prescribed uh, counseling fees of 500 rupees. So you have to pay this 500 rupee and you can participate in this if you have not yet participated in that first round counseling also provided that they fulfill the eligibility criteria. If you have not participated in the first round counseling you can participate in that but you have to check the eligibility criteria that you should have got your PDC or you should have completed your all the courses before 25th September of this month that is tomorrow. The candidates who had registered during the first round of counseling paid the prescribed counseling registration fee but could not 
fill their choices are also able to, to participate in the mopa brown counseling however they are exempted from paying the counseling registration fees for example in the first round counseling you have paid this 500 rupees but you have not filled the choices and you have not been alerted to any city you can also participate in this mopa brown counseling but you no need to pay this 500 rupee again the candidates who had registered during the first round of counseling but the prescribed counseling registration fee has been paid filled the choices and were alerted seat but could not upload their documents for verification by the university so after uh, this seat alertment you have to upload the documents and it has to be verified by the university but if you have not uploaded the document because uh, if you have not filled the good choice filling then if your upgradation may lead to the seat in any university which you does not like so if you have not uploaded the documents or after the verification of the document if you have not paid the seat acceptance fees due to any reason so you can also participate in this mop up round counseling however you no need to pay this 500 rupee counseling registration fees again the candidates who had registered during the first round of counseling paid the prescribed counseling fees filled the choices but were not alerted to any choices so if you have done this choice filling but you have not alerted to any university you can also again participate in this mop up round but you are exempted from paying this counseling registration fees next is uh, the above allowed candidates that is serial number 6 to 8 from here to here that is you are exempted from counseling registration fees are required to fill their fresh choices for vacant seats only so as i mentioned already you have to do the fresh choice filling only for this vacant seats displayed on the counseling portal and their previously filled choices if any automatically stand cancelled so if you have done already choice filling for the first round counseling it will be cancelled automatically and it will not be considered for mob up round or final round so you have to do this again you have to fill this choices again you have to fill this choices again only for this vacant seats next is in case any qualifying examination board is not considered for admission by agriculture university on account of particular university or college being disrecognized by CBSE or any other government issue or any other authorities ICR will not be responsible for admitting students of that college or university in university not willing to admit such candidates I will clearly explain this for example you have studied in a particular university A that may be any private university or any other university you have studied in your UG in that particular university which did which is not having ICR accreditation okay so now you have written ICER examination and you have got seat in any top university but this university is not willing to take you because this university which you have studied during your UG is not having ICER accreditation so this is particularly left to that university only ICER will not involve in this so this is what they have mentioned here so that uh, rules will be applicable as per that university only ICER will not be involved in this next is uh, rest of the rules and regulations are applicable to previous rounds shall also be prevail for this final round counseling so these are the informations that uh, these are the informations about this mop up round so many were asking about what is mean by mop up round and what are the instructions so we have given this video thank you